In this video, I will show you how to install a GTX 1650 Super graphics card in a Dell Inspiron that only has a 290 Watt PSU. This is the Asus 1650 Super Phoenix I received from Amazon. Let's open the package. This is the card. So it's a Phoenix version 1650 Super from Asus. It has 4 GB JDDR6. I chose the Phoenix model from Asus on purpose because it has only one fan, so it's not a very big card. This is because there is not too much space in the Dell Inspiron to install a dual fan card. This card takes the place of two PCI slots and it needs a six pin power connector that doesn't exist in the Dell desktop. So I'm gonna show you how you are going to hook it using the SATA to six pin PCIe power cable. So let's go and install the card now in the Dell Inspiron 3671. We need to open the Dell computer to install the card. So it has two screws on the back. Just remove the two screws. And then slide the back cover like that, firmly. The VGA card will be installed in this empty PCI 16 slot here. This is a 3.0 PCI 16 slot. And here, as you see, it needs two empty bays. So I removed the covering for these two empty bays. I'm gonna first install the VGA card and then I'm gonna show you how to connect the power for it. So here it is, I'm gonna install it now. Just push it in the PCI 16 slot like that. It is installed now. I'm gonna put the screw back here to secure it in place. And here it is secured in place. I chose the 1650 Super because it only needs 100 watts to be powered up. On the site of Asus, they said that they recommend a PSU of 350 watts. Even though my Dell has only a PSU of 290 watts, I've done the calculations and I think I'm gonna be okay with this power supply. So to power up this graphics card, you need external power. And the Dell comes only with a 290 watts PSU that doesn't have external power to power up this kind of cards. So what I've done is that I brought this cable from Amazon. This is a cable that draws power from SATA and it goes to PCIe connector. It can be either 8 pin or 6 pin. So here because the card takes only 6 pin, I remove the 2 pins just like that. And if your Dell desktop doesn't have empty SATA cables, which it will be the case. You can get a cable that gets power from the 6 pin here from the motherboard to SATA. Here I already had a cable. I will also put a link in the description. I got the cable because I installed another disk here in my desktop. So fortunately, I have two empty SATA power here, this one and this one that I'm gonna use to power my graphics card. So I'm gonna do this now. So I'm gonna hook the first one here. It cannot go wrong. And I'm gonna hook the second one here, like that. And then I'm gonna hook the six pin PCIe connector to my graphics card. And I'm gonna tuck now all the cables here in this holder so to have a clean installation. So here as you see you have your power cable connected and here you have your SATA connections and everything now should work. So let me close up the computer and test it. As I was expecting the computer started and it showed the display, so the card worked. And here I'm launching Device Manager to make sure that Windows 10 recognized it. But of course, I'm gonna also install the driver from the NVIDIA site. 
And I'm gonna show you quickly how to do this. From your web browser, you need to go to the GE Force Experience website as shown below on the screen and click on download now. When the download finishes, double click the GE Force Experience executable. If you are prompted, click on yes. The installation program will begin. Click on agree and install. And here it is installing. GE Force Experience is very good to keep your drivers updated all the time. So it's better to use it to update the NVIDIA drivers always. If you don't have an account here, create an account. Here I already have an account, so I'm gonna sign in. After you sign in, you'll get this welcome screen. Click on skip. And then click on drivers on the upper left side. And here, click on download for the driver. It will download the driver. This is a pretty big download. So I'm gonna cut this video and come back when the download finishes. The driver almost finished downloading. And as soon as the download finishes, the preparation of the installation will begin. Here you can choose custom installation or express installation. I'm gonna choose custom installation. Click yes. And I'm gonna choose everything here and then click on install. And the installation will start. The installation shouldn't take more than five minutes. When it is finished, restart your computer. To make sure that the graphics card is getting adequate power, I installed a software called GPU-Z. This software will measure the voltage and the wattage that is getting to the card. Here, as you see from the PCIe slot, it's getting 12.1 volts and it's drawing for now 3.2 watt only because it's almost idle. And from the six pin power, that is, the six pin that we connected to the SATA power. It is drawing for now around six watts and it is getting 12.3 volts, which is very good. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.